Now we are going to learn how to draw with vectors in Adobe Photoshop. And yes, Photoshop can be creating vectors, though it's not as strong as Adobe Illustrator, but still we can be using Photoshop for creating simple vector shapes. So in order to create simple vectors in Photoshop, you can be heading to these tools in here, where you can be drawing simple geometric shapes. We have rectangle tool and rounded rectangle tool as well with curvy corners. And we have ellipse tool, polygon tool, line tool, and custom shape tool. So let's start first by maybe ellipse tool. And here we have three modes for creating our vectors. So we have shape, path, pixels. Starting first by shape. So let's start drawing our ellipse. We can be holding shift key to get a perfect circle. And this one will be added on a separate layer. We can be creating also a new layer as a reference for us as a background layer. So we can see our newly created layers in here. And let's reselect our ellipse. And we have fill and stroke options for our circle. So here we can be changing fill color for our circle, maybe selecting that nice pink. And also we can be changing our stroke color to maybe something like that. We can be increasing stroke for our circle. Maybe to 15 pixels. Then we can be choosing another mode, maybe path. And now drawing another one with that mode. Holding shift key as well. So in that mode we are only getting a path without any fill color or stroke. And even that one will not be existing in our layers panel. However, we can be accessing that one only from our paths panel. And you can find that one right to your channels panel and layers panel as well. So selecting that one. Here we have our two vector shapes, our ellipse one shape path. And also we have our newly created circle, which is called work path in that case. So even by selecting that ellipse, we're not gonna be able to see our newly created circle and that's mainly because it doesn't have any fill color or even a stroke. So anytime we would like to get that one back, we can be selecting that one from here, where you will be able to see that one once again on your canvas. And now guys, you might be wondering why we would be using that one. Simply, we can be using that one for creating selections or creating vector masks. And we're going to be explaining them in detail later through that course. But anyway, using vector paths can be a very precise way to create selections or even vector masks. And if you would like to create a selection out of your vector path, you can be right clicking that one and you will find make selection option. Or of course, you can be deleting that one if you would like. And also you can be accessing more controls for our path through using these tools in here. So here we have two selection tools. One will be with black arrow and the other one will be including white arrow. So starting first with that one, black arrow, which is path selection tool. Then selecting our work path in here, where we can be moving that one around or even right clicking our path. And you will find even more options in here like creating vector mask and many other options as well. Or we can be selecting our direct selection tool in here to select one of these anchor points for our circle. So for instance, we can be selecting only that point in here to redefine our shape, maybe something like that. However, now this will be converting our shape from life shape into a regular path. And I'm gonna be talking about that in a minute. So let's say no for now. I'm moving to our third mode for our circles or our vector shapes, which is called pixels, selecting ellipse tool once again, selecting pixels in mode, and drawing our third ellipse. Let me create a new layer first. Since we can't be creating that one on ellipse layer, as it's a vector layer, and you can see that icon in here, which means that we have a vector layer in here, holding shift key and drawing our ellipse. Now in that case, we're only getting a regular pixel shape. It will be losing its resolution. So let's take that one for instance and enlarge that one all the way to here and executing that. And also let's select our vector shape and transforming that one pressing Command or Control T. 
now enlarging our circle all the way to here and right away you can see the difference between these two circles as we have a very sharp curve in here however here we can see the pixelation happening around our circle and even let's zoom in so we can see that even better and hopefully guys you can see the difference between those two circles in here this one is vector and that one is pixel shape and we needed to create that one on a separate layer as well so let's go back to 100% zoom level pressing command or control 1 and now let's remove that layer selecting our layer pressing delete and let's also reduce this one's size while holding shift key to maintain proportions for our circle so now let's go ahead and create another shape selecting maybe rounded rectangle tool and selecting shape for our mode now we can start drawing our rectangle we can be holding shift key as well to get a perfect square and let's go ahead and select also rectangle tool drawing a regular square like that moving that one selecting move tool moving that one to here and here you can see that we have even more controls for our shape and properties panel so for instance we can be changing stroke type for our shape selecting maybe dashed line or even dotted line and also you can be customizing the distance between your gaps or dots and dashes length as well from here so maybe you can be adding a gap maybe 12 <laughs> where of course we will be getting huge distances like that so let's get it back as it was solid line and also here you can be copying your stroke details to apply that one on another shape as well by pasting those details of course on other shapes or you can be saving your stroke if you're going for something dashed however let's go back to our properties panel so here also you can be aligning our stroke either to center now it's on inside so you can be selecting center or outside so let me get that one back to dashed line so you can see that one better now that one aligned to inside you can be selecting center where <laughs> it's going to be looking like that or outside and here we can be changing cap type for our stroke so we can be selecting rounded cap or you can be extending the stroke a bit beyond your path so selecting that option in here will be slightly extending your stroke beyond your path's end point and here we have more controls for corners so we can be selecting sharp corner like that one or rounded corner or we can be selecting bevel corner to get our corners looking like that and now let's say we would like to be converting that one into a rounded corner rectangle we can be changing these values in here so we have zero pixel now we can be setting that one maybe to 15 and by clicking in here we will be getting 15 around your rectangle and also we can be unlinking these corners so we can be controlling only one corner so let's maybe set that one all the way to 40 or even let's make it 90 we can be hitting return as well to execute that also we can be drawing these rectangles in a very precise way by selecting our rectangle tool and we can start clicking anywhere maybe here where we can be defining width and height for our shape and also we can make that click as a center for our rectangle by selecting that option hitting ok now as you can see photoshop will be remembering last styling for your shapes so you can easily redefine them from here if you would like and also let's go for rounded rectangles and now we have that rounded rectangle we can be changing radius from here as well maybe to 50 return and then we can start drawing another one where it's going to be having 50 pixels for each and every corner's radius so let's clear our canvas a bit and now let's discover another tool so right clicking our tools we have polygon tool where we can start drawing triangles by clicking and dragging your mouse 
And now this one is giving us rectangles since we have three sides in here. We can be changing that one. Let me move that one first inside our canvas. And now let's grab our polygon tool once again or pressing U on keyboard as a shortcut for that one. Six or let's make it five to get a perfect polygon shape just like the tool's name. 